For this video, I am going to demonstrate a 4A speakerphone connected to a 2565. After I have made a call showing that the telephone is functioning correctly, I will discuss what happens when you try to connect to 2565s or 565s or one 565 and one 2565 on the same cable using a bridging adapter. So I've demonstrated that the 4A speakerphone is functioning correctly on that 2565. So I will show a bridging adapter and what happens when you try to connect two telephones on the same cable without undoing some leads in one of the two telephones. I have in my hand a bridging adapter. The installers generally refer to these as a CPC, which stood for connector plug connector. These bridging adapters were made with different Amphenol configurations internal. The only one that's of any value for most collectors and do-it-yourself people are the ones that's got two female amphenols and one male amphenol. If you use one of these adapters and you plug two 2565 phones together, I will show you what happens and what needs to be done to correct the problem. All right, I have on the two telephones, line one, which is next to the red hold button, on the left phone pressed down, and I have line five on the right phone pressed down. The two screwdrivers I have is representing the telephone being on hook. Because I've removed the housings, I do not have a handset to, to hang it up, so I have them hung up with the screwdriver. So I'm going to remove the screwdriver on the right phone, and you will see both line one and line five will light up. So at this point, this telephone here on the right side is the one that is actually off hook. If I hang line 5 up by releasing the button, we only have one line selected. Because of the leads inside of this telephone is going through the cables to the bridging adapter, and the leads for the speakerphone going from this phone through the cable to the bridging adapter, I've effectively hooked up both telephones to the same phone line. So if I go off hook on this one, I will get only one dial tone. And as long as none of the buttons on this phone is operated, that phone will work normally. I can place it on hold. I can release it. Works perfect. If I go to this telephone, I can place it on hold if I originated a call or answered a call. And I can hang up. And it'll work just fine. As long as all of the line keys in both telephones are released, you have no problems. But, if you have two of these phones in the same cable, and you press any line key on this phone, and any line key in this phone, unless you press the same line key on both phones, you've just made a conference circuit through the bridging adapter. This is a moving target if you try to find this on a working system because someone will make a phone call on line 5 
and then later hang up the handset, somebody would go to this phone and pick that up, and ta-da, they have two lines on that phone, two dial tones, so when they call somebody, they will most likely have one call will be ringing, as well as a busy signal in the ear. If you had a line pressed down, and someone picked up this phone, and let me rephrase it, this phone had a phone call in progress, and this phone did not have any line keys selected. The moment that this phone went off hook, and they pushed that line button to make a call, you're interrupting the phone call on that phone, and you're also hearing the people that's on that line. So in order to disable that, one of these two phones needs to have the speaker phone leads disconnected. And the last three pair, aka six wires, which would be the violet green, green violet is the tip and the ring. The violet brown, brown violet is the mute lead for the 4A speaker phone. And then the violet slate, slate violet is the A lead control. So I will remove one of the touchstone pads off the phone. I will show the, the leads that needs to be insulated. And then you could have two phones in the same cable work perfect without any problems. The only exception is if you actually have an intercom. The intercom buzzers are wired on the same pair of wires in both phones. So if you did use a bridging adapter, when you dialed the extension, both phones would buzz. So if you wanted to change the intercom buzzer, which is in Western electric phones on the six button ones, it's usually on the yellow, green, green, yellow wire. You just simply move the buzzer leads to a different spare leads inside the phone, such as the yellow, orange, orange, yellow. That way each phone could have its own individual intercom and you would have no conflict. At this point, I'm showing the 425 type networks in both of these phones. This is a 425, this is a 4228. They perform the same exact function, but as you can tell, the layout is different. This is an older network, this is a newer network. So there are two leads on the network that needs to be disconnected. There's an orange wire coming from the touchstone pad, and there's a slate violet wire coming from the mounting cord. This wire and this one needs to be removed. In addition to, down here is the one side of the phone line, which the other side is on the orange wire, and then the mute lead for the speaker phone is here. So my recommendation is the green violet and violet brown and brown violet these three wires take them off and tape them the same thing remove the leads from the 425 or 4228 network and tape them and then there's over here one other lead that needs to be removed which is going to be the slate violet i believe and that will remove the a lead problem so I've got one here so the wire that you need to remove is from the mounting cord is on this screw once this one and these other three are done and these two are done you've eliminated the problem tying the two telephones together all right so I have both phones hung up I have line 5 on uh, press down on the right phone I have line one pressed down on the left phone. I will go off hook on the right phone. I only get one line. If I go off hook on line one on the other phone, I only get that line. If I hang up, I've released the one line on this phone. If I hang up, I've released the line on that phone. Under this scenario, both phones will work flawlessly. Uh, because I've disconnected the leads inside of one of the two phones. Up, I have line 5 on uh, pressed down on the right phone. I have line 1 pressed down on the left phone. I will go off hook on the right phone. I only get one line. If I go off hook on line 1 on the other phone, I only get that line. If I hang up, 
I've released the one line on this phone. If I hang up, I've released the line on that phone. Under this scenario, both phones will work flawlessly uh, because I've disconnected the leads inside of one of the two phones. As an additional note, if you were to use a 2565 and an 830, which is a 10 button rotary dial phone, or a 2830, the touch tone version, you would also have to disconnect the last three pairs in the 2565, the violet green, violet brown, and violet slate pair, because you will also have troubles um, inside the 10 button phone and the 6 button phone, because those last three pairs are being switched through the key set, the key strip itself, out of the phone, so any of the five buttons selected will ship that specific phone line out and back into the cable. And if you were to put a 10 button phone on it, you would have some serious problems. I have a yellow 2830 and a black 830. These are the standard 10 button phones.